What's good, everybody? This is Nonfiction of Real Fan Sports. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell to stay locked in to our fan list reviews and all of our new content. Peace out. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. This is Real Fan Sports, and I am one of two fan lists for this evening. We have a new reaction up next. Let me bring my partner on. Zach, what's good with you, my guy? What's good, sir? How we doing, Nan? Doing okay, doing okay. How about yourself? So what we got today? So today we got the rules of Rugby Union Explained. This is also by Nim oh. Explains. So. Okay, all right. So, you know, we've watched a good bit, dare I say maybe a lot, at least for <laughs> one month's time of National Rugby League. And yes. we've been told a lot and been corrected a lot when we accidentally called it rugby, that it's not rugby, it's league. So now we're going to go ahead and give a look at union. I've had a lot of league people tell me that league is way better, way more fun to watch. And then I've had a bunch of union guys come pop in and go, they don't know what they're talking about. Union is the way to go. So I'm interested to see what the difference is in the rules and then react to some union and see what our opinion on what is better. But I want to understand this one first. I don't so, know. Debate. So Debate so in the saying, comments. So you're saying league versus union. I'm ready to start a war on the Real Fan Sports channel. So rep, you heard the rep man. Your team, rep, rep your sport. So down below, if you have nothing to say, but you rep one side or the other, just put league or just put union. If you have nothing to say, that's all we need. Let us know. We have some ideas, something something brewing. Mm, stir the pot up. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get right to it. All right. And explains the rules of rugby union. The, the object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. The game is played with two teams of 15, playing on a field that's 100 meters long between the goal lines. In Rugby Union, you may run okay. forwards with the ball, I've seen and this you may kick good. the ball forwards. But what's interesting about Rugby Union is that you can only pass the ball backwards or sideways. Right. You can pass the ball forwards, and doing so will result in your opponent being awarded possession. Yeah. The idea is okay. to score points, okay. and there are several ways to do this. Number one. So I know like the general rules are just a little bit different as far as like the scoring goes. Um, they aren't worth the same amount of points. Uh, in Union, you start with 15 players. League only starts with 13. Mm -hmm. So I think most of the rules are kind of the same, but there's a, a certain part that makes it very different. So let's let's keep watching. Let's see what those different parts are. Okay. Into your opponent's in-goal area and place the ball down onto the ground. This is a try and is worth five points. five points. Unlike in American football, the player must press the ball on the ground with downward pressure. No downward pressure equals no try. No try. Number two, okay. conversion. After scoring a try, you are awarded a conversion kick to add more points. The kick is made from a spot 20 meters from the goal line and perpendicular to the spot where the try was scored. Kicking the ball between the posts and over the crossbar scores two points. Number three, a penalty. If your opponent commits a foul... Just real quick, I'm very positive that this version is where American rules for American football comes from. It has to be. Big so. It has to be just like listen to what he's saying, how things are heard, things are translated across by the sport. It has to be this version. You may choose yeah. to kick the ball from the ground between the goalposts. This scores three points. Number four, a drop goal. You can also kick the ball between the posts at any time during yeah, the open that's, play. To do this, you know, oh, yeah. does a, a, Flutie and uh, this also scores three points. Did that so many to times? Stop you from scoring, your oh, opponent yeah. can stop you by tackling. Your opponent can grab you below the shoulders and pull you to the floor or stop you moving forwards. In rugby union, once a player is tackled, the ball carrier... Now, this is the biggest yes. difference right here. Yes. This usually yes. results in players pushing each other away on the ground okay. whilst the yeah. teammate tries to get I've seen union ball. before then. Players from either team can get possession this before at this too. point. This is known as well, a ruck and is an important part of the game. That's what it's called, a ruck. Right. Yeah. It looks like a bunch of men rolling around on the floor, but in reality, Ooh, they're trying to push the opponents away so that they can get the ball. The mall is the other important yeah. part of the game. The mall, this is cool. While standing up. Players will usually push opposing players backwards in order to gain better field position. Unlike in American football, you know, he's league, hold his foot like, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> if a team can keep the ball for the entire game, they generally will. Oh, so there is no possession limit. You oh, that's hold interesting. the ball for the entire game? <laughs> so you can run around with the, with the, for, yeah, on the entire game. That's Basically playing crazy. keep away, only throwing backwards or laterally. That's crazy. And then and then any tackle results results in you know what they call it the ruck. So like how do so how do turnovers work? That's what I'm kind of confused on. Does that happen just by strips or by uh, you know interceptions? Yeah. Or can they steal the ball out of the ruck like whenever the tackle happens? 
that's what I'm kind of interested in. I'm, inter- I'm interested in, that, in the idea that a team can keep the ball the entire match because it doesn't – That I just don't see that even happening with how hard these teams – how aggressive these teams are and how hard they're they're banging. I can't oh, I'm see. Sh- I'm sure it's never happened. I, I wonder what the record happening. would be. I wonder what's the record for like the like fewest like changes in possession. Like if that's the case, has that has in the, the history of it, that was there ever a style where it was just about controlling possession or has it always just been about moving forward? Or you know, they you know that's interesting. Yeah, let us know about let us know down below if it if that has ever happened where one team has controlled the ball the entire match, or if you know of the fewest um exchanges of the ball going from one side to the other, one team to the other in a match. Let us know. That's that's interesting. So two 40-minute halves. 80 minute halves. Yep. For a combined playing time of 80 minutes, team with the highest score after 80 minutes wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other rules you'll need to understand before playing. So wait, wait, ju- what just happened? Okay, okay. So because I'm at? seeing they're like kind of kicking the ball back and forth. I wonder mm-hmm. is that because they don't like where where they have the ball? Because they said you know possessions could be unlimited. Just back it up like 20 seconds. So they you know they kicked it off here. Yeah. And uh, this team, the Reds, going to take it well, after 80 minutes. And it looks like they opt to kick it right back. Basically the gist of it. I think they're going for a. Is, do they have a 40-20 in the game again? Maybe that's what they're going for. I'm not sure. Knock on. Any player about to watch. Or forwards with the arms or body is committing a knock on. Remember, you're not allowed to pass the ball forwards, so you're not allowed to deflect it forwards either. Unless mm. it's okay, mm. so some of the terminology is the same. The other team being awarded. Yeah, points. definitely, definitely. Scrum. This is a method of restarting. Yeah, play. that always trips me out when I see that. Or a knock on. The forwards of both teams line up and push against one another whilst the ball is rolled between them. That looks just vicious. In general, any team can win possession of the ball at this point. In touch. Wow. This would be terminology for out of the playing ball area. Ball carrier. The outer lines of the field Goes are touch bounds. lines. And any ball leaving the field of play is said to be in touch. In touch. In touch. And that's the same. That's the same with yeah. the league as well. Restarting play. Usually when now, this is different how they do line outs. They restart by what the they call the ball. Yeah. Whilst the ball is being thrown between them. Players are allowed to lift teammates up to try and gain possession of the ball. That's kind of crazy. There are many other oh. rules just here. But as you watch your play oh. review, oh. they will become very clear indeed. <laughs> If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. <laughs> we got you, we got you. I love how he, I love how he ends it. Yeah, give, yeah. Give, give him the like. Y'all make sure y'all check out his channel as well. So, so I mean, this is this is very interesting. I mean, because you know, obviously there's some differences. I think the biggest yeah, difference yeah. that I've seen is is the you know the unlimited possessions or unlimited uh downs like there's no downs or tackles it seems like yeah that's kind and of that crazy. they could carry with the ball forever from watching we'll see how the ball is interchanged between you know one team to the other and also they can't kick the they can't kick the ball forward or they can't proceed the ball forward they only can go lateral so that's interesting too well they can't kick it forward they can't well, kick I mean, it forward yeah but uh, not to themselves uh I don't, I don't think i'm they not sure i didn't i didn't see yeah. him explain that yeah. so i don't know I let us know would, are I, they able to kick it forward i i would assume that if you could he would probably say that because that's a big part that's a big part of the other leagues play you know right. what I'm to, to so, get that ball ahead right i mean you know like i i did a lot of research in league and maybe that's why i'm getting uh why i'm getting a little bit confused watching this and i probably need to just watch some of the gameplay and, and to understand <laughs> it but <laughs> but like i know league comes from union union is is, is the or the original sport uh mm-hmm. and then league broke off from it uh during like Way way early on in time, I think like the 1800s, something like that. I can't remember exactly when, but it was su- it was that's, stupid that's early. Crazy. You know, I, I'm interested to see what Union's all about. You know, obviously the possession thing is a huge one. The, the you know the points are a little bit different. The amount of players on the on the field are different, and then the way that they work. Uh, you know, the scrum, uh, the uh, the ruck, and the uh, the mall, and then the uh the what what do they call it the line out the line are all out. are all different. So now, I'm interested. I know to see. I know this version. This this union that I've seen there in some colleges, some colleges do yes. play that style. So I do yes. know that. But the NRL style or or league that it's very different. I, I mean, there probably teams are, but from what I've seen, just working in sports world and in, in college, this is the style that they they mimic that you've seen out here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because we we actually have a uh, we have a uh, union team out in um out in New Orleans, a little small team that mm-hmm. may you know get into this. Maybe I can go and catch a game live. Probably nothing yeah. that uh, y'all want to see highlights of, but maybe. <laughs> Maybe it'll do me some good because I'm telling you some amateurs. Uh, they'll be like, look at the rookies. Look at the rookies. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Rookies. I, I know. I know some friends that played, and uh, they weren't the most athletic people. 
life. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, no offense, guys, if y'all are <laughs> But uh, I'm excited for it. So yeah, let you know as always. You know, let us know. We already have plans to react to. I believe uh, Jonah Loma, Lomu Loma. I don't want to. I know I'm probably saying it wrong. I have it saved. But we have a couple guys that people have recommended us to react to as far as union players and also a couple matches as well to check out some highlights from. So if y'all know any more players or highlights or anything like that, please share them below. Go ahead, leave a, a, a link if you need to do that, if it's easier for you. That way we can check it out and go ahead and give y'all a good reaction to some actual highlights. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And don't forget, my name is Nonfiction. This is my co-host, Zach. This is Real Fan Sports. And you know you want to be a fanless just like us. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. We appreciate you. We love you. Catch you on the next one. Peace out. Cheers.